Something really dangerous has been happening to me lately, and it's really affecting my life. A lot of my followers and fans think I left Islam. I know some of you are probably like, I don't care, why are you telling me this? This has nothing to do with me, but please just hear me out because this has been depressing me and I can no longer ignore it. We all know the stigma that comes coupled with being a Muslim. On top of that, when someone says that about you in our community and it starts to spread, it can be so damaging. This can have so many repercussions because this is something that is very dear to me and important to me. It's what gives health to my soul and connects me with my family. It obviously isn't true. So let me get this straight. I love my faith and I will be a Muslim forever and no one can change that. I am a peaceful, loving guy and I love and support everyone no matter their race, religion, sexual orientation or gender. I think what makes us so different is what makes us so beautiful. And that very thing is being used against me. Some of you might be wondering, well, how did it come to this? Why do people think that? It's a special form of a bullying tactic that they are using to attack me. So in order to attack me, they make videos online stating that I am not a Muslim and that I am an ex-Muslim. In my faith and in my community, that is the most dangerous and hateful thing someone can do to anyone who is a Muslim. And you know what's crazy? YouTube doesn't see that as harassment. You can't misgender someone because you'll get in trouble for that. But if you misfaith someone, sorry, YouTube can't help you there. I sat on this for years, taking on the harassment for so, so long. I can't take it anymore, guys. I swear to God, I'm trying to hide it so many times, man. I'm trying to act like this. Taking it in, staying quiet. But it's gotten to the point where I can no longer ignore it. And it stemmed from a few things. Actually, a lot of things. And this is what they are. I changed my name to Kareem Jovian. I changed my name for the simple fact of privacy. I can't believe I have to explain this, but it's what we call a stage name. When I was using my legal name, I had no privacy whatsoever. People were able to look up my name, and then they found out where I live, they found my phone number, harassed my family, along with a whole bunch of stalkers that had no limits. I am a very private person. And one of my biggest mistakes in my social media career was using my legal name as my handle. I was hacked on countless occasions, one of which was so bad that the hacker was able to go into my account and try to take out $20,000. Luckily, we were able to get that money back. And on top of that, I had people show up to where I used to live with my mother, knocking on the door constantly, asking for a picture, autograph, and it freaked my mother out. And I had enough. Not only was this the reason for me to leave and move out and get a new place by myself so my mother doesn't get harassed, it was also the reason why I had to choose a stage name so I don't have to use my legal name online anymore. So I started to take privacy a lot more seriously. Some say it's probably a little too late, but you know what? It's never too late when you want to take care of your safety. Obviously, I changed my name for privacy reasons, but also it was a sign of respect for my grandfather who we took on the name from. I chose Jovian. And of course, there have been Muslim creators who have a much larger following than me who have been using this and spreading so much lies, deception, and falsehoods, all based solely on a name change handle on social media. One of my old friends, my old, I used to do videos with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, feel I feel ashamed that I've done videos with him. This dude's last name, he, he had an Arabic last name. Changed his last name to, a, to like a, a white American, Israeli so it's the last J name. The end, right? He changed point. his last name. You can see from this video the clear desperation of jealousy and resentment to try to grasp at any reason to defame me. Jovian, in fact, is a popular name in Indonesia, a country that has one of the highest percentages of Muslims in the world, with over 200 million Muslims, mashallah. A beautiful country that I hope to visit one day with my wife, inshallah. Let me show you something. Did you notice this cup right here? This cup is from Indonesia. 
It was given to me by my wonderful mother-in-law as a gift because she knows how much I love Indonesia. In fact, I love their movies. They make incredible movies. And one of my favorites, if I'm pronouncing it right, is Merintau. And it stars the super action star Iku Uwais. If I also pronounce that wrong, I'm so sorry. Please let me know in the comments below. Since this guy is always saying he's gonna give me a right hook or he's gonna hit me there and wiggle me there and slap me there, this person speaks so confidently knowing that I'm not a fighter. He don't have no balls. Cause when I see him, I'ma show him who got balls. Slap him, cream is someone I'll slap. Yeah, he's in my yeah, face yeah. right now. Kareem? Yo, yo, Kareem, Kareem. People like you cream, need a cream, smack cream, in the cream, face. Cream. What's stopping me from going to his house? I know where he lives and beating the out of him. Yeah, like, yeah. What's, what's stopping me? The only reason why he was saying that is because of you, Kareem. So that's why when I see you, it's, it's on, bitch. It's on, you better call the cops already because it's about to get serious when I see you, bro. I'm telling you this right now. If I ever bump into you, you gonna get slapped by me. I'm letting you know that right now. I don't give a fuck, I get locked up. You gonna get slapped by me. But you know who I will get on you? I will get Iku Uweyes. It's like me changing my name from Saleh to like S Smith or something. Jovian is not a white name. It does not compare to Smith. However, Agent Smith is pretty awesome. Please, don't believe these lies. Like Jovian. To be honest, my hunch is literally the same thing. I feel like it's because his last name was he felt like he wasn't getting anything from that. Yeah. So if you had like a Jovian name or like, oh, Cream Jovian, that sounds more Hollywood than... Um... They've been spreading this too, where they say that I changed my name to become more Hollywood. If I wanted to change my name into a Hollywood name, why would I choose the most hardest and confusing name to pronounce? Kareem. You know Kareem, YouTuber? I can't I pronounce his last name. Make social experiments, Muslim. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't pronounce his last name. I'm not here to try. <laughs> I would have changed my name simply to... Slim. You see, that's easier to pronounce. Wait a second. Um, Somebody already has that stage name. So why is it that when I have a stage name, I get attacked for it, but they can have a stage name and it's completely okay. Um, yeah, so I go to his house and then, you know, he claims that he legally changed his name to Kareem Jovian. So I check his mail, I was like, Kareem. Um, I find it so funny that these guys have been recording all these videos with these claims that have no bearing and no proof. Since some people want to lie and never want to own up for some of the things they've done, I have receipts. I have so much receipts. Uh, first of all, it's receipts. 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 Uh, never mind. And we don't need the toxic kitty in our life, you know? Toxicity. I don't even know how to say that. This is going to be a really long video. These guys have made a two hour long video on me. They have made so many more videos and streams about me. Uh. A lot of the other videos and streams they've deleted. But you can imagine that there is so much to go over and respond to that it's not worth my time. But you guys are worth my time. If you would like me to fully respond to all those videos completely, then hit the like button and comment below letting me know if you want me to do that. And follow me on Instagram and DM me privately if you want to talk. You like her? Her name is Normandy. It's very satisfying. Oh my god, that was so good. Kareem! Future me, what are you doing here? I have something to tell you. Is it about the guys? I have good news and I have bad news. Even at that age, they still won't leave me alone? So what's the good news? One of them got married. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, to a beautiful young woman. Her name was, uh, yeah, what was her name? It, it started with a, with a, a, I think it was, uh, egg. Uh,
I'm really bad with names. You're gonna have a really bad memory when you get to my age. I'm sorry, I forgot. So that's the bad news, that I have bad memory? The bad news is that he still says, he says receipts with a B. After all these years. I have receipts. I have so much receipts. These same creators also called me an ex-Muslim. This is what I feel like is a sign from God for us to not have that ex-Muslim, a sign from God. That is much worse. Can I finish? Other people's video, you're causing people to come to me and say, you're not Muslim. Who are they to tell me that? Who is anyone to say anything like that to someone? Bro, that is haram. You are right, Mr. Dawa. It is haram. And the cherry on top of this was that this was all legitimized and co-signed by your fellow Muslim, Mr. Dawa. The guy whose dawah is there to give you dawah. That is haram. For those of you guys who don't know, this guy is supposed to be a Muslim scholar or something. And he made all these ridiculously short-sighted videos having conversations with these creators. A man who's supposed to spread peace and the good word of Islam failed at that very thing when he associated himself with those guys. Here's a little quiz for you. Did he take that opportunity to tell them that what they were doing was wrong? All this backbiting, gossiping, defaithing by calling someone an ex-Muslim? If you chose no, then you are absolutely correct. Not only did he not do that, but he also gossiped with them. Like, it's, I don't even know what to say. He spoke about me with insubstantial hearsay, with no knowledge of the situation, and never even talking to me and asking me about it before he brought it up. No, 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 Adam, I heard that he, he, is it true? Tell me, I don't know. Thus, making this whole situation even worse and exacerbating it. I don't think I'm better than you, Adam. You might be more beloved to Allah than me and 20 of me. Is this guy Hamar? Hey, old Kareem, let's be nice. <laughs> It was so bad that I think Mr. Dawa actually started to recognize this because he was feeding these negative thoughts and delusions of this person to the point where he actually thought that I did something that I never did. But it's crazy, so this person was, was sending you, he was trying to invite you to his podcast and he was sending you pics of me no, like, no, 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 no. or something like that. No, 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 Adam, I heard. Luckily, he corrected him, but it was far too late. The damage was already done. Such a shame to see someone of such of a prestigious background to have fallen for this measly trap. It takes a man with stature, dignified stature, to uphold their values no matter what. But I guess when it comes to image or some sort of fleeting relevancy, all that gets thrown out the window. Sad to see you fall from your grace to be just another run-of-the-mill creator looking for some clout and views. Allah hamak. You see, I thought this was haram in Islam. I mean, of all people, he should know that. In fact, there are so many verses against this very thing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Do not backbite Muslims, and do not search for their faults. Allah will search for his fault, and when Allah searches for anyone's fault, he humiliates them, even if he hides in his house. I mean, how powerful is that? I'm getting goosebumps just reading that again. Right after all these videos, what happened next? What the hell is going on with Adam Saleh and Slim? They're in a controversy every other week. All I gotta say, yo, Adam Saleh, damn, my ninja. So fake on camera, you guys don't understand. Adam Saleh, Slim's friend. Why the, why the fuck is nobody talking about his situation? Fake ass fight, he paid off. Look, what's this? Yeah, but that's the fake to the body. I was like, it's, it's not you, it's Marcus. That wasn't part of the plan. That you accidentally knocked Adam out. And you... Holy crap! Yo! Look at it. He's not even trying to knock him out. Look! Oh my god, look at those punches. Oh my god. Oh no, mate. Adam Sala, you're off. Fraud, get out. Right back down to should retire and never enter a ring ever again. Raw. He sent me this, and this is his voice. An evil bitch. You want to play this game? Oh, games. pulling out the receipt. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Please. Games. Oh, that's good. Mind you, I caught him cheating. He switched shit on me. 
That gay dude, James Charles, came up to me hugging me and sh He's gassed. I told him I'm not gay. He was like, are you bi? I'm like, no, N-word. Because I feel like he's not respectful. If you know who he is, make sure he sees this video. Wait, but, but, but. That's something you really thought I was gay for. Pretending to be gay, and you have the luxury of being like, oh, I'm just joking. I grew up in a very anti-gay church, anti-gay environment in Wyoming. Are you just saying that so people don't confront you? Or do you mean it? You were gonna fight KSI? Fight me. Now, the dude's content is 100% garbage. I'm not even gonna lie to you. His voice Terrible. is annoying. His songs are annoying. Everything he does is annoying. What's good at Doogie Game? Game? Of this girl exposing Adam Saleh in slumification. The amount of lies that he told me to my face, like swearing on his dean, swearing on his mom. When I realized that he used to lie on his mom's life, I even told him. I'm like, yo, Adam, you told me you were gonna slap the sh out of when you see her. You told me you were gonna pull her braids out. Yes, he said this about the girl, and now he's apologizing to the girl. He'll get exposed, he'll get called out for some dumb shit he did, and then all of a sudden, it's just coming back to his mom. That's what I don't like. He literally Fs anyone and everyone, but like trans at this point. But I'm actually really glad that girl actually spoke up against them. I got flew out thinking it'd be like fun. Yes, both of these people did know that I was trans that I've already been contacted by one of them getting threats you know that legal slim and Adam you not transgendered slim and Adam salad a transgender OnlyFans actress, she came out with a video titled Getting Flown Out by YouTubers Storytime. She made it very clear to Slim and Adam that she was trans before they flew her out. She has a unbelievable amount of evidence and proof that they got together and had a, a party of three, if you know what I mean. They're literally sending her text messages like saying, you know, there's gonna be a lawsuit and all this other stuff. Even though she has an overwhelming amount of proof that this took place like literally like you know kim kardashian movies if you know what i mean <laughs> well i knew all along about you two but um now it's confirmed you're part of the fraternity darlings how you doing welcome to the lgbtiq community why is everybody so shocked about this whole adam sally scandal y'all are literally so blinded no slim you're sh Muslim, you cheating. Our good Muslim Slim has a secret that's not so much a secret anymore. He allegedly flew out a 21 year old woman to Miami to allegedly f You are a weak human Slim, not only in the ring, but also as a man. You are a weak man. Fight me, bitch. Oh, we, we are taking a break. The seats she issued in this final video. Here they are. It happened. Here is a conversation between me and Adam. They will yell at you, they will rage at you, they will gaslight you, they will yeah, manipulate you, they will project on you, they will accuse you of things you're not doing, they will make you feel absolutely crazy. Did you go through this with Slim? Is that what it is? Like, I see why fans think that, you know, Slim probably abused her in some way. Sophia, bro, are you okay? Once popular Muslim YouTuber, Adam Saleh, has been accused of many alleged sexual abuse instances, including rape. As the victim bravely speaks out with her encounter with Adam Saleh, reports state she has gone to the local authorities to take legal action, and the case is currently ongoing. Guess nobody talking about his situation. Rape. Right. Allegations. He's getting away with it? Gonna be a few people saying, why are you exposing his sins? You need to. He's a right. rapist. Okay? He's a rapist. Because I'm a virgin and blah 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 blah. It's more girls than I've had hot dinners, bro. To the point you even rape one now. And I got the other one and the underage one that's telling me she wants to talk. 12 a.m. and I was door dashing to a hotel. It was called Red Roof in Long Island. And guess who I see in the lobby? that Adam, and it's not my business, but I've heard from multiple people that he has slept with underage girls. I don't want to talk to AS. I don't want an apology from him. I don't want anything. I just, I wanted to speak out. I think he probably thinks he got away with it. I am going to take this to, to the most extreme level and I'm gonna press charges. I think a hundred times I must have said, stop, like stop. Stop, don't touch me. These yeah. words actually left my mouth. Like, stop, yeah. don't. Like, I repeatedly said it. It was 100% clear 
that I was uncomfortable and he didn't have my consent. It was so forceful and ignored every single time that I said stop. I did blame myself for the last five years, thinking I was the one that like asked to be raped. He literally forced himself on me, forced me. I have scars from how much you forced me. This individual has had so many allegations made against him recently that he has yet to respond to, some of which are extremely serious. And I believe it is imperative that this person addresses it. Now, some have their beliefs as to why this isn't being addressed. Some believe it's a way to hide or make it seem like it's non-existent. So if you keep it quiet, it will disappear. No, it shouldn't if it's true. If it's not true, then I believe this person would do everything within their power to deny and clear their name, which they have not done till this day. I have posted some links below in the description box. If you are a victim of any kind, your voice deserves to be heard. You are not alone and you should not be afraid.